The sun is out, flowers are blooming, pollen will soon be everywhere, spring is almost here. And in this video, we're going over a spring style guide. So, if you guys want to see this video, just keep on watching. Now, in this video, I just want to give you all of my tips and things that I like to do when it comes to switching out my winter wear and pulling in all of my spring things. So, tip number one, when it comes to spring, you, you think about those colors, right? Blushes, pastels, you also think about prints like florals and even stripes. Especially when we're transitioning from winter to spring, we could layer things like a blush blazer, a cream cardigan, things like that to really make your outfit look more spring. So if you guys are looking for a color scheme, the color scheme that I go for are blushes, olives, creams, nudes, and white. So those are like my main things. And then when it comes to patterns, I like to go for florals and a lot of stripes. Tip number two, start bringing in those light fabrics. So like fabrics that are super light and comfortable to wear. We're going into spring, so it's going to start getting humid and hot. You don't want to wear things that are really thick and heavy and bulky. You can have the cutest outfit, but if you're looking uncomfortable, it won't be cute. Some of my go-to pieces, maxi dresses or like wrap dresses that are super loose and flowy. And also just midi skirts. I feel like midi skirts and those maxi dresses are going to let your legs breathe a little bit. It's just going to look super flowy and cute. Tip number three, you gotta have the right undergarments, especially when we are moving into more of like the warmer weathers don't want to wear something that's very uncomfortable since we are going to start wearing dresses and lighter fabrics you want to wear underwear that's not going to give you those panty lines my friends over at Ebby sent me some underwears to try on and honestly you guys these are just so comfortable if you're looking for something that's going to give you a little more structure these are not it it really won't give you any shape but if you're looking for really comfortable underwear to wear underneath skirts and dresses and making sure you don't want to have those panty lines highly recommend trying these guys out the best part is about Evie is that they are size inclusive so they have sizes starting from extra small all the way up to 4x which I think is amazing because Evie knows that women come in all shapes and sizes. So I got my underwear um, in an extra large, just a solid brown color. I also got a solid black color. And because it is spring floral printed, because spring and florals, 10% of all Ebby proceeds go to the Seven Barb Foundation, which provides low interest loans and small amounts to support women starting their own businesses. You're empowering and supporting other women just by buying really comfortable underwear. But I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out and look at their product. They're just super comfortable wear and I think it's just perfect for around springtime. All right, so tip number four, if you're trying to layer during spring, you can still layer without layering. These are collared dickies. You put it underneath your t-shirt, dress, whatever you want, where you want the collars to peek out of. And it's going to give you that, that cute layered effect without actually having to layer. Speaking of layering, my next tip is about layering. This is going to apply especially when we're transitioning from winter to spring, where the evenings and the mornings are a little chilly, so you need something to layer over. But during during the day it's really hot but I feel like it's just a cute way to style your outfit gives you like those vertical lines into your outfit but then also you can take off and on uh, during the day having light dusters light dusters is something you can throw on like a dress blazers are something that are just one of those very versatile items that you can pair with regular jeans or you can pair it with a dress it could really up your outfit now when it comes to bottoms I already talked about midi skirts but we're getting into those warmer months so having really light colored pants it's going to keep you cooler throughout the day and white is just such a clean spring color it pairs really well with all the other spring colors that I mentioned before I just feel like mom jeans are way more comfortable than skinny jeans it's going to get hot you don't want skinny jeans just sticking to your legs so having mom jeans that are loose enough in your legs it's going to make you feel a little bit more comfortable and then when it gets chillier during the mornings or the evenings it'll keep you nice and warm so when it comes to shoes um, for spring I like to stick to white I feel like white shoes just makes such a big difference if you can get your hands on some white booties these make such a difference into your outfit especially if you're wanting to keep it simple and also having white sneakers I feel like those chunky dad sneakers or just like those flat white sneakers are going to make your outfit look a little bit more casual pair it with some mom jeans um, you can even pair it with a dress I hope this video was helpful you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know in the comments below what you're most excited about spring and what outfits are you planning on to wear. Um, other than that, you guys, I will see you guys next time. Mwah.